Okay. Finally, time to record my new video. What am I going to talk about? I don't have actually a story. Maybe I should watch some of my favorite YouTube creators just for, I don't know, maybe inspiration. Man, I still don't have no story. I, I wish I could think of a story as good as those guys. I mean, how, how the hell do they do it? Just give up. I'm, I guess I guess my life is just too boring to make YouTube videos or I don't know. Uh, can you relate to that story? I think we, if you're watching this video, most likely you, you've been through something similar. Yeah, either you make videos or any other creative stuff. We all want to tell a story with the creative uh, uh, tools we have. But a lot of times we, we just think that our stories are just too boring, that what comes from our life, the inspiration that comes from our life is just too boring for other people. The truth is, actually we all have stories to tell that are interesting uh, and it doesn't matter if it's an epic adventure or just something that you consider ordinary from your life. Uh, it's still a good story, it's just the way you tell the story. Uh, just a group of ordinary events uh, can lead to something super drastic to change in your life and this on its own is a really interesting story it's like uh, what led me to move to a country that I would never have thought that I would that I would move and learn a language that uh, seemed impossible to learn and yeah uh, things you consider ordinary are not ordinary for everyone they are ordinary just for you so so don't limit yourself by thinking that something is boring or just plain mundane uh, events and, and stories and so on. I was actually talking a while back uh, to my friend uh, Tsutan from uh, Tsutan V Life uh, for my Bulgarian audience. You can check his channel out. Uh, he does some tech stuff, photography stuff and uh, actually some really cool videos on, on some interesting creative projects. And I told him this, bro, I don't have a story. Uh, I don't know what to record for YouTube anymore. It's like this uh, schedule thing is crushing me and I, I have no idea uh, what to do. He actually gave me a really good idea back then. I was like, bro, it's not you, that you don't have a story. That's your story. You can talk about the struggle of finding the story. And, and to be fair, I've been through this quite a lot. Uh, and I, I'm pretty sure most of most of you have been through this as well, especially if you have a uh, a normal job on, uh, and you're doing s uh, creative stuff on the side. Sometimes the mind just blocks, and you cannot think of a topic for your videos or for your photography session or whatever. Those little things that are just stopping us because our our minds are tired from from just nor normal stuff like working from eight to five and so on but uh, i found a couple of tricks that can help you find the story you want to tell and the first one is just talking to people one of the things i realized recently is that uh just the point that i mentioned in the beginning of this video is that, that normal stuff for you is not normal for everyone just talk talk to people talk to people who know you talk to people who don't know you and just see on what they react how, they, how do they respond uh, to what you tell them? You just tell them some story, you, something that happened to you or something that you learned. Uh, but this is potentially your story for a video because uh, you would be surprised by, at uh, how many things you think that are, for example, common knowledge are not actually common knowledge and th these are topics for, uh, for tutorials, for example. Or, um, for example, you uh, you had an interesting experience uh, uh, that you that you want to share, but you're too scared that that's boring. Uh, trust me, there are going to be people who will be interested in this. So yeah, that's the first point: uh, is finding your topic. Uh, and uh, once you discover something that's interesting for other people, trust me, if you fi find one person that's interested in this topic, there are plenty more that are going to be interested in this. And topic is actually deciding how to to make it uh, interesting uh, wh whether it's a talking head, head video with just uh, 
uh, some animations, uh, whether it's a hands-on tutorial, whether it's a vlog. Um, I mean, yeah, for vlog, uh, you need to kind of plan in the past. Uh, that's why I, I stopped doing vlogs because pretty much it uh, doesn't always go as planned and I do prefer my videos to be planned. Uh, I do prefer to have more control over the videos. So yeah, after you figure out how to uh, you want to present your story, you start working on it. And that's pretty much, we all have plenty of stories and yeah, sometimes it gets tough, but trust me, you can find the stories just by talking to people. This video is actually, as I said, uh, because of uh, of my talk with uh, with Setang, uh, if uh, he didn't uh, mention this, like, bro, this is your story. Like, uh, uh, t t tell us about your struggles. How, how do you overcome this? If you if you have this problem so often, how do you actually make videos? And uh, this is it. This is um, what I typically do: is like talk to people, um, or just go on social media in groups, see uh, what people are interested in, like. For example, if I notice uh, that uh, there are questions about the topic that uh, I have the knowledge to answer, but that's like too long, uh, or it would be much easier if I just show it to the person, why not make a video post? Post the video as a comment there as well. That That's uh, also good for your exposure at the end. Even if you think about skills, like if you're making tutorials, like even the backstory of, of how you attain these skills, this is a separate story on the side uh, that's interesting because not a single person uh, has the same skill set as the other people. The events in our life shaped us the way we are and uh, one of the reasons uh, why we have uh, different skills is just that, what happened in our lives. So why not tell this story? Uh, how did you manage to combine and why did you learn this diff uh, two different types of skills and combine them? How did, how did this affect your life? Think about it as a job interview. Uh, every video sh uh, and every story should be a job interview. Uh, you send your CV, uh, you have all, all your skills there uh, and uh, all your experience and so on. But you still need to go to the interview and tell your story. There is always something hidden behind the, uh, the role statistics and data and so on so if, if you're looking for a story i think this is a good spot to start just start sharing your life experiences there's plenty of stories to tell there we every single person has millions of amazing stories that you just need to to document uh create um, represent in a photography session write an essay open up a uh, startup a blog or whatever is the easiest way for your story to be communicated uh, to the people use that one use that one i don't always make videos uh, uh, when i want to share share something yeah mainly because uh, let, let's be honest i'm not um, much of a talker i'm not much of a writer and that's why i like actually photography uh, and uh, uh, because i can express myself through images and uh, document and express my um, emotions from uh, when I travel and so on. Uh, but uh, also for videos, I'm much better at expressing myself when I'm behind the camera. But um, that's not always uh, the best way to express something. For example, uh, videos like this, uh, I would prefer much more to be in front of the camera so I can share directly my experience with you instead of trying to uh, make a story uh, with an actor and try to find some friends, uh, for example, that want to participate in this and so on. This is uh, actually uh, something that's a stopper for me to tell my stories in that way because it takes a lot more effort. For me, the easiest way uh, way to telling your story is the best way to telling your story because when it's easy for you to communicate this and you're not focused so much on the technical stuff you're not focused on organization and so on you can focus on actually telling the story and yeah i hope this video was helpful for you and uh, if you're stuck uh, and you don't know what to do um, Ping, ping me in the comments, send me a DM on Instagram, we can have a chat, maybe this chat can uh, help you out find your story. And uh, if you actually manage to overcome such blocks uh, before, uh, you can also write your secret, how, how did you manage to do that? And 
yeah i think that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching i hope it was helpful and um yeah if you don't mind you can click down the subscribe button and ring the bell icon if this video was helpful in any way thumbs up would be also appreciated you know how things work on this crazy platform <laughs> yeah thanks for watching again and see you on my other video guys ciao